Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm bright on my hands is some of the releases that we'll be going over this week. Of course, there's tons of tons and tons of comics every single week released. And, you know, we do what we can to cover a whole bunch of them. So, right here at GPTV, we got a whole bunch of reviews. And this is what guaranteed that will be on this channel this week. So, uh, David Lester with Marcus Redeker and Paul Buell give us profits. Profit Against Slavery, Benjamin Lay, a graphic novel. Uh, it is out this, I think, November 2nd. We got a nice uh, uncorrected page proof version of it. Uh, so this is about Benjamin Lay, who was a radical abolition abolitionist. He was among the first to fight against slavery as well as animal cruelty. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I actually don't, I'm not sure I know a whole lot about Benjamin Lay. So I'm kind of looking forward to it, to, you know, dive in, maybe learn a little bit about history and um, I'm sure be entertained. So um, this this should be interesting. So it's like born in 1682 to a humble Quaker family in Essex, England. Lay was a visionary who understood the fundamental evil that slavery represented. He used guerrilla theater tactics to shock and ultimately shame slave owners and traders in his community. Uh, the prejudice that Lay suffered, he was a dwarf and a hunchback as well as a devout faith, informed his passion for human and animal liberation and made him an often lonely voice speaking truth to power. Kind of, I'm, I'm just fascinated. I do not know anything about Benjamin Lay, so this would be cool. This would be nice, educational, and I'm um, hoping a little entertaining. We've got Glam Comics number three, Glamorella number three uh, from Literati Press. Let's hook us up with this. I've, I've loved the first two issues of Glamour, uh, Glamorella. I'm looking forward to this third one. The uh, story is about a daughter who is uh, autistic. Her mother's a superhero. And uh, the daughter wants nothing to do with the superhero aspects. She just would rather read and learn. Um, super intelligent kid who's way smaller than her parents. Uh, and you got this, like, uber-perfect superhero as a mother. So it it's, brings lots of, uh, lots of humor to it. There's a lot of, like... Just you know, characters I like. Just it's solid, solid writing and um, really entertaining. And if you're looking for something that's superhero, not the big two. Like this is a really good one to pick up. Um, the first two issues are I think are fantastic. So I'm I'm pumped for this third one. Really, I'm really really excited about it. Uh, we pr we promised Utopia number three. Uh, so this has been an interesting one. This is about kind of like a uh, future that was supposed to be great and apparently has, didn't look out or didn't work out the way uh, everyone had hoped. So. Um, I'm kind of fascinated by this. It's like it, it takes you through some different timelines. It kind of jumps around. Um, or is this number two? I'm sorry, this is number two, not number three. Number two. I was about to say, I don't remember the second issue, but I'll go back and reread it if I had to. Um, so the first one issue kind of like dropped around, uh, jumped around and kind of hinted at like a future that wasn't, that didn't kind of hold up to expectations. Um, so I'm kind of, I, want, I really want to see it. There's, there's clearly was a lot of thought brought into the, the world in that first issue. Um, a lot of small details that, that really stood out that I, I liked and liked a lot. So I'm, I've been pumped and been waiting for this second issue. So I'm, I'm kind of, I'm really excited about it. So I got confused because this is issue three out in February and that's what I was looking on the back. Um, so that's why I said issue three, but, uh, we, we promised Utopia too. Also from Literati Press. From Aftershock, we've got After Dark, a horror anthology. Uh, this is a pretty impressive, impressive anthology. A lot of uh, a lot of well-known names: Colin Bunn, Cliff Richards, Diesel Alonzo, Dave Sharp, Joe Pruitt, Simon Kudransky, Dave, uh, Dave Sharp as well, Jim Starlin, Nicole Jelenic, uh, Frank Thierry, Joe Eisma, Matt Erms, Carlos M. Manguel. Uh, four tales of terror in this anthology. Aftershock's been put out these like one-shot, oversized comics, and they've been pretty cool. I've, I've actually really dug them. Uh, they've been pretty solid stuff so far. Um, really entertaining and good. And just I'm staring at the back and I'm like, this is creeping me out. So this is probably going to do really well. Uh, you know, obviously Halloween going on uh, yesterday. And uh, it's kind of timed a little bit with that. You know, kind of wish maybe it was a little bit before, but it's all good. Um, so yeah, it's a uh, you know, collection of tales you'll want to read with the lights on. Ooh. Uh, so this is just a little bit of what we'll be covering. Um, you never know what else. I mean, shipping's all kinds of messed up right now, so um, things are kind of just coming when they come, and we'll, we'll go with it and roll with it. Uh, I believe there's also Walking Dead number 26 is out this week. Uh, we'll, we'll have that later in the week, and uh, a whole bunch more. There's, there's stuff we need to catch up on. There's stuff that, you know, well ahead that we can do some coverage on and, and maybe get some uh, advanced reviews, which would be kind of cool. Just lots and lots and lots of stuff to go over. I'm, I'm pumped about um, but yeah, 
This is it all we're going to be doing. There's lots more at graphicpolicy.com. You can follow us every day there with all the news, reviews, interviews, previews, and more. Uh, you can also follow us on, of course, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, all at Graphic Policy. Keep it nice and consistent. Make it nice and consistent across the board and easy to find. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, and, of course, come here, here every single day at Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.